Hello, last time we looked at uh, how to describe any place on the face of the Earth using uh, parallels of latitude and of meridians of longitude and with those two we were able to describe any place that we might care to on the face of the Earth. But of course more important than that for astronomers is how do you describe the position of things in other parts of space that you might want to observe. And for that we need to come up with a, uh, a, a new idea and um, what, what uh, astronomers of old came up with was the celestial sphere and that's what we're going to look at uh, in this video. We need to imagine the Earth is surrounded by a giant glass ball and onto which we're going to project our equator and our poles and any other uh, lines that we might find useful. So uh, here's our celestial pole and the stars are painted on this glass ball as we see them from the Earth and we're going to imagine the Earth is still and it's the rest of space that's rotating around us. Okay, um, And uh, to, to do that so we need a few bits of vocabulary and the ones that I want to look at in this video is the word zenith and the word uh, nader or nader. Okay, and so to do that, we're going to compare views. One from the celestial sphere point of view on my left, and the one on the right is the observer's perspective. You'll notice that uh, I'm, I'm using this white dot on Earth, which has started to rotate, and that's at battle. Um, so there's you, the observer. Directly above you is a point uh, called the zenith. And that's unique to you. Wherever you move, your zenith moves with you. It's directly above your head on the celestial sphere. And if you look, if you, if you look at your feet and you go through the Earth with X-ray vision, uh, on the celestial sphere is the is the nadir or a nadir. And um, I'm also going to mark on a, a possible path for the sun. This would be called an ecliptic. This line. It's um, you can think of it as the apparent path that the sun takes on the celestial sphere when observed from Earth. So we've looked at the three bits of vocabulary that are going to help us use this celestial sphere. Uh, and to get started, um, we're going to look at uh, three different star constellations. Perhaps the first one we should look at, and hopefully recognize, is Orion. So there it is on the left, you can see Orion. Of course, the Earth's spinning, isn't it? So let's think about what path would uh, uh, Orion make as it uh, as, as the Earth spins. Well, to the observer, it looks very much like Orion rises and sets, isn't it? Particularly times of the day, we can easily see it, and particular times of the day, we would not be able to see it, no matter how hard we try. Whereas something like the Big Dipper, up in the red uh, Arctic uh, celestial bit, uh, okay, you can see um, that at any time of day, you, you, know, you have the potential to be able to see it. And of course, there are some stars, no matter what happens, I've got the Southern Cross going around in the Southern Hemisphere there, you're never going to be able to see it, no matter what you do, of course, unless you go to Australia or New Zealand or something. Okay, so um, that's the vocabulary we need, and that's what it means.